Good evening, game fans. We have such a match for you tonight with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We have four different players across 12 different tracks on three separate race series. This is Mario Kart 8. I'm Ralph Hogelboom with GHD Esports, and with me tonight is Marcy Alstrom. Marcy, how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you tonight, Ralph? I am doing well. Um, chat, we had some audio issues last time we did this. Can, can somebody let me know, like, is the music just slamming you right now? Can you hear what we're saying? Is it coming through? Let me know in chat. Give me some, some hearts or some thumbs up or uh, I guess some skull and crossbones if it's not working. Um, at, at any rate, welcome back. This is Thursday Night Gaming. Marcy and I do this every Thursday night. Uh, we've been doing it all spring quarter long, playing a different game every week. And in fact, okay, yep, I'm seeing some no music actually. Fantastic, thanks. Thumbs up, hearts, Peninsula College. Uh, love seeing you down there. Um, and in fact, last week we had Overwatch 2v2s. Uh, that, was, that was super cool. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm not an Overwatch player. Had you ever seen Overwatch before? That was my first time. It was beautiful too. I want to visit some of those places. Yeah, some of those maps were gorgeous. Well, I, I actually have a replay. So we had four teams uh, last week. We had, let's see, uh, Avocados, Pit Fans, Jetpack Cat, and Team PogChamp. And, uh, and we did a double elimination bracket, and we, we actually have the highlight reel. Um, so, I, you know, let's, let's just take a look. Here's the ante, and we'll see if Mercy can pull through, or if that's just, that's kind of it. And there it is, Jet Pack Cat's win. And that was a huge nade from Lady C there. Hog almost gets to turn it around, but... And Mercy says no. And that would be it for this match. Hit fans win for them. We'll see how it goes against this Lucio Reaper combo, which could work out for them as they can just speed up onto them very quickly. And they get the Mercy. And Widow is now down. They were just too quick and managed to finish off the grind. And uh, I believe that is uh, that's it. That last play that was on there, I still can't believe how cool that was. So that was that was Pit Fans. Um, they did a combo where Lucio and I think it was uh, Reaper uh, sped up and they closed the gap against the opposing team who had a sniper. And that sniper is only good at long distance. So by doing this speed up to get right in their face and deliver intense damage, they knocked out the Mercy and I think the Widow like immediately. And, and so there were so many cool little plays like that. Um, I, I, I watched it. Uh, yeah, I see uh, Charlie Peninsula College, uh, Coach Charlie Morrow um, from Peninsula College's in Fitch chat saying uh, completely caught me off guard. Yeah. Um, but that was a fantastic series. I had so much fun. Um, we do have another one coming up in August. Um, but before I jump too far, and, and before we switch over to, to Mario Kart, actually, um, I, I do want to say, Marcy, I mean, today, today's a special day, right? Today is a very special day. Uh, and that day you... is Vegan Hamburger Day. Is that what you were going to say? Because it is National oh, Vegan uh, Hamburger Day. If it is, you know what? I learned something new today. Um, really happy to have that information. Congratulations to all the vegans out there. You got a day for else. hamburgers. Um, it is a very important day for other reasons as well. Today, May 28th, is the first day that registration is open at Grace Harbor College for the 2020-2021 academic year. So if you're someone that's thinking about attending GHC next year, either starting this summer or maybe starting in fall, today is the first day that you can register for classes. Um, we have been busy all day long, well, really all week long, preparing for this. Uh, for this moment. Current students have been able to register uh, for about the past two days. So um, while registration will be open all summer long for the next year, it's really important that folks that know that they want to pursue their education at GHC contact us as soon as really they're able um, because while registration is open, classes are filling up quickly. There were already a few classes I looked at today to help a student get in first day of registration and it was full. So so 
uh, if you have any interest at all, come on over to our virtual assistance lobbies or email us at enrollment at ghc.edu. We'd love to help you get started. Awesome. So uh, it, in addition to that amazing news, we actually have two other people here with us today. Um, yeah. we, we have Alexa Blake and Ray Arden, uh, both GHC College students. Um, Alexa, how are you tonight? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Good. Uh, it's glad to have you back. You were with us, uh, what was the, the last Thursday night gaming you were with us at? Quiplash. The Jackbox right. Quiplash. That was actually really fun. So. Yeah, it was Good totally to be fun. here. Mario was my favorite game. So. Awesome. And then we have Raymond Arden. Uh, Raymond. Welcome to Thursday Night Gaming. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm really excited to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. So you are the GSA Student Club president. Um, and yes, that's you, right. And GSA has a Facebook page uh, that's open yes, to the community. Do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, you can join. I mean, you can press the uh, join button and we'll, we'll accept you. So yeah, absolutely. Sweet, yeah, I mean, you let me in, so you let just any old wacko join, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is great. Thank you, by the way. Um, mods on Twitch and Facebook, if, if you can paste the link for the GSA's Facebook page um, down in chat, that would be amazing, super appreciated. If not, you know, I'm sure we'll get to it at a break or something. But, um, I, you know, I don't, I don't wanna take up too much more time, um, you know, just flapping my lips about stuff. I, I think we have some people that are ready to play Mario Kart, and um, I, I would like to see that, I would like to see that happen. So um, do we have, I, you know, I think, I think I've got the device here spectating. Did it go to sleep? I can't, I can't tell. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's asleep. Um, I, I'm going to go jiggle the cable. So you all talk amongst yourselves for, cover <laughs> for me. Thanks. That sounds great. Uh, well, we were just talking a few minutes before about really the excitement of getting started uh, at the beginning of next academic year, but um, I found out... Our fingers crossed that we're good. Let me see if I can get that to play. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem. Hopefully we can get into the game here shortly. Well, if uh, I cut off before I got to say it earlier, Ray, congratulations on your recent graduation. That's very exciting. Thank you so much. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Absolutely. And for those at, uh, folks at home that don't know what GSA stands for, uh, could you maybe explain what that means? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so GSA stands for Gender and Sexuality Alliance. Um, we're a club on campus. Anyone is free to join. Um, things are a little tricky right now, obviously, with the pandemic. Um, but absolutely, join our Facebook page. Um, we're uh, super active on there. Uh, we keep you updated on stuff that's going on, um, activities that we're doing. Um, so yeah, we really just strive to be um, just a supportive space um, for anyone that wants to join um, the LGBTQ community and their allies. So yeah. Very cool. Thank you. I know you guys have been really active on campus, uh, not only engaging folks and, you know, sharing important information, helping to spread awareness um, and increase engagement, but also just having some really fun events, too. Thank That's you. Fun, yeah, we try. Yeah, a fun group to, to be a <laughs> part of and hang out with, for sure. And Alexa, you said that you're just working to uh, register for classes next quarter. Is that right? Yeah, um, so I'm finishing up my early childhood education certification um, statewide. So um, I have two classes signed up for, but that's way too there. <laughs> Very cool. Do we still have a few more minutes, Ralph, or are we about ready? You know, we're super close, but we're not quite there. Can you give me just like another 60 seconds? Let me see if I can get this thing going. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, if you guys Thank don't mind, you. take that time to just help folks figure out how to get started at Grace Harbor College, if that's something that you're interested in. The easiest way I know how to tell people is go to ghc.edu, and right at the top of the page, there's a big red button that says Get Virtual Assistance. If you click on that button, it's just like walking into the main student union on campus, which is called the Hub. Um, we have virtual assistance lobbies or Zoom lobbies that are set up for all of our really helpful student service offerings. 
office is. So if you're a new student looking to get started at Grace Harbor College, go to the Welcome Center Zoom lobby and someone in there will be really excited to help you. Uh, you can also email enrollment at ghc.edu and we can walk you through the process. Okay. It looks like we got a board I, up. I, I think we do, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is so fun. Oh no, did we find? I, I am just beside myself with joy. <laughs> um, no, no, keep it in there for now. Um, I, you know what, actually, I think rather than watching, uh, people watching me fumble around with this controller, um, I think I am going to run it to an intermission. So at least they have some music to listen to. Um, yeah, and I good. will get this up and running and we'll be right back. So stick with us folks. Just everybody thanks so much for sticking with us uh, this has been a lovely experience in overcoming difficulties uh, let me turn down our switch volume here um, I you know I think we are good to go uh, so folks you know I know we've got a, an event coordinator uh, card kid is um, actually one of our current GHC students um, I, that has been doing quite a bit of volunteer work in esports, and I think he's working with the players in Discord to make sure that they get in. Um, I see Charlie is in, I see Cash is in. Um, we've got our player here. I think we're still waiting on one more, which is uh, Squimples, right? Do we see Squimples? You know what? I. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that I, I'm ready for us to begin. Do you want to hit join? Um, I, have, I have held everyone back from their thrilling Mario Kart experience. I mean, you, you came here, you paid for the whole seat. I told you you're only going to need the edge, but let's like actually get into it and do this like proper, properly. I'm excited. 
So is this going to be uh, like a bracket style tournament like last week? Not quite bracket style. So, um, I, and I'm not like a, a Formula One or a NASCAR person. I'm, I'm not, I'm not familiar with how the brackets go on races, but my understanding is that it's a series of points. And that was what we were working on for this. Do we still okay. have, um, we still have Raymond and Alexa connected? I know there's been some network issues. I just want to make sure. Could you move a little bit? Okay, good. <laughs> They're still working. I see some hands. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm we're so good. Excited. We're good. That's great. Okay, so it looks like we've got two people in. Um, do we want to wait for Coach Morrow? Or we've just got two. Okay, this will be interesting. Oh. Let's see if I can pipe the audio in. Let's get this. There we go. There we go. Oh. So yeah. Nice boost there. So we have a system. Um, you know, one of one of the things that I am looking forward to, Marcy, specifically, is getting more folks involved in the program that we have, like community member involvement. And there's a bunch of different ways people can get involved, you know, like um, they could be stats keepers or they could do work like actually doing the production part of this broadcast or designing some of the graphics or transitions and running the brackets or, you know, keeping track of who's who's what is one of those things that um, that we always need help with. So oh, nice. one of the cool things about our production software is that you can link it to a Google Sheet. So we actually have a Google spreadsheet where somebody anywhere in the world can enter in the scores from the match to keep it updated and keep track of who has the most points as it goes. Okay, this Ooh, actually so seems like a pretty like, neck and neck. Sorry, it go It sounds ahead. like we might be able to yeah. keep uh, scores like over the course of a year even. Absolutely. Very cool. Have, have any of you three played Mario Kart much? I have played oh, Mario Kart only on a Nintendo 64. Okay. So old school. Yeah, I have never played Mario yes. Kart in my life. Many, um, many moons ago. <laughs> so, uh, Ray, I gotta ask, what what's holding you back? Why not? Oh gosh, I guess I've just never really gotten into it. Um, yeah, I've, I've like seen a bunch of friends play it. Um, but yeah, I guess I never really got into it. Actually, my mom um, played the original Mario Kart when she was growing up, and she was really into it. Um, so that's part of the reason I, I want to be part of the stream, because um, some of the enthusiasm has kind of been passed down to me. Um, but yeah, it yeah. looks really fun. Like, I would love to try it if I ever got a chance. Yeah, so That was my, a pretty my, close race. It totally was. So hopefully we can get some more, you know, I think the, the tournament is still open. So um, we have a chat code, uh, not a chat code, I'm sorry, a tournament code. Um, can you can you check the code on, on that or? Uh, I still have it. Is it the same as the code changed? Because we're getting a question from chat. People are saying, is Ooh. the code different? Uh, Coach Morrow isn't able to join. Okay, chat. Uh, let me see here. Actually, I'm a... We need more contestants, so um, I think I'm going to see if I can jump in. <laughs> I'm not very good. Ooh, we're getting lots of shout-outs to GSA on the Twitch stream. That's great. Nice. Wow. Showing the love. Showing the love. And Jax33, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm sorry. I wish I could remember uh, what I think we've met before, but... Oh, it says I miss you guys. Must be someone that we know Aww. from school. Does anyone know who Jax33 is? So, yep. uh, oh, yeah, that's that Jax. That is his new name. <laughs> oh, okay, great. So they go by Jax now. It's pretty awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I actually yeah, I know I I miss... run into. Go ahead. Oh, I, I miss everyone on campus, too. This is a great way to stay connected, but I miss y'all. Same here. Mm -hmm. Does not look like I'm able to join in time. It's still those two. So it looks like it's the same code. Uh, Peninsula College, Coach Morrow, um, Coach Charlie. Uh, that that tournament code, which I think we can pull up. Um, if any of the mods are in Twitch chat, 
uh, feel free to paste that code. We could use some more competitors. If I may, it seems like the tournament has already started. People wear good practice matches. There we go. Scale, but since it seems to be locking people out, it must have already started. So one thing about the uh, Mario on the Switch, it's really cool. All the different worlds and stuff are from different games. Like, um, they do have some of the original uh, courses that they had on the 64, but they went and they added other worlds. So it's actually, it's really interesting to see as they play. Yeah, I'm excited to see some stuff that I recognize and some new stuff too. I know that when we were watching um, Super Smash Ultimate, that's something that I had I never really played before, but you know, watched other people play it. And I think my favorite new addition was um, the what the Wii Fit instructor as a character. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that it, it was a highlight for me. <laughs> that sun salutation yeah. was coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh, you know, I think now would be a really good time if any of you wanted to try your hand at, like, you know, race style casting. Um, you know, play by play casting or, uh, or the color commentary. <laughs> As we head into the third and final lap here at whatever raceway we're on, <laughs> it looks like Pocket is trailing, is now actually pulled ahead and it's in the lead by what could be one length, but the gap is closing quickly. Cash is right on his tail. And a misstep oh, will set him yeah. back and he drops down to second. Yeah, I can, I can do it for like 30 seconds and then I figure it out. You're pretty good. One thing about coming off those ramps like that though if you make a jump sometimes you can uh, bring up your uh, glider and it can you can glide a little bit further um, Which is and even when speed, you have right? your glider before you land if you push the up button because I have played this before if you push the up button you can keep onto your glider a little bit longer scoop further before landing it so that's one thing that I haven't yet seen either of them do but I don't know if they know if they can do that. Yeah, maybe not. I don't think we have our standings updated. Um, yeah, oh, because we the got screen... another player, though. Yeah, that, that would be me. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did get okay. connected. <laughs> so you're going to see how terrible I am. You know, I, I think in terms of uh, playing and having any sort of an actual uh, leaderboard, I don't think we're going to be very successful. This tournament mode is not keeping track of the standings in a way where we can update from game to game. I think at the very end we might have some standings updated, but um, yeah. So in six seconds, I'm going to start playing, and uh, you're going to hear me grunt and sigh as I quickly fall into third place. <laughs> um, actually, it'll be great if I finish third. I might finish worse because uh, that's how bad I am. I know there's only three people in the race. Is, I, I'm Charlie, just curious, is there ever a point... Oh, go ahead, Ralph. I was just going to ask if Charlie had had a chance to get connected. This doesn't look promising. Is the cash out front? Yeah, this game seems it's all about drifting and then those tiny optimizations using coins or like mm -hmm. what Alexa was saying, that little jump when you uh, uh -huh. when you go over a jump, that little bump. I was gonna ask. Now, like the a... red shells are pretty good to hold on to though, towards because if you get towards the end and someone comes up behind you, you shoot them with that red shell and you can take first place. Well, somebody else could. I can't. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm sure it's possible oh, look at for that. someone. Going into the second round of three. Oh, and banana. Cash back out in front. Alexa, uh, mm. do you remember what icon Ralph is? Or what character? I'm Mario. Um... I do not. Mario. Mario? 
Yeah, Mario. The guy at the back. Yeah, it's just okay. You're <laughs> bringing up Way the back there, But you'll catch up. You can catch up. <laughs> well, the third round is when the, uh, the blue shells come out, right? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, there's no way I'm catching oh, it now. Round three. You never know. Someone could hit a bunch of bananas. Um, usually the person in... Oh, there goes a bomb. Got both of them. Uh, usually a person in last place gets like the best... Uh, when they hit the squares that have the question mark, the best things come out. Yeah, um, but you still need to know how to drive. I'm just curious, like, if there's ever dominating. a point when um, I'll lose the urge to be, like, physically, like, looking back and forth as the as the course turns. I have to exert a yes. lot of willpower to not physically move. Wow. <laughs> Dude, I came in second. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I told you we could catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, Charlie, I love the dances that, that they do. do. And now we're down to two people. We lost somebody. Oh no! Lose Cash. Can you try, both Cash and Charlie, can you try rejoining the tournament? Anybody who's out there, we've got the tournament code. It is 1471-0707-5627. Try the tourney code again and see if you can get connected. See if more people are, are can get in there. So Mario Kart 8 is, is an interesting competitive title because it's one of those games that has no spectator mode. <laughs> um, people are asking, Ray, are you playing? And I think the follow-up assumption there, the implied question is, why not? Um, and people are also uh, <laughs> saying, basically, the entire GSA is out in force, uh, full-on supporting you. So um, yes, that is awesome it's to amazing. see. Yeah, GSA representing. Um, yeah, OK, so hang on. I think, I think Charlie's saying that there's one other person in the lobby, and I'm wondering if that's cash, because I'm in the lobby with Pocket right now. Maybe. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's see if we can get connected. Um, OK, and Tony's in a group of three. But it's the same tourney code? That's so weird. Uh, I'm about to get smoked. Ooh. What? Yeah, all right. Um, I'm wondering if maybe after this game we shouldn't uh, just remake the tourney. Get a new code and okay. get us all on the same page. Yeah, again, we can try that. Yeah, it sounds like, like we have several people. Well, if they're in a lobby with three, and I'm over here with two, we have at least five. That would be a much more interesting match. Um, although, I gotta yeah, say, I was pretty thrilled I came in second. Uh, that's the only time that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, you're gonna come. Well, if you come in well, either first or second this game, right? You know, I know because there's two players, but um, don't <laughs> underestimate my ability to come in really low. <laughs> so, you, Ralph, you mentioned there's no spectator mode in this. Does that mean that the the camera view for anyone watching is always following the lead? No, it's always following whatever player is playing the game. So unlike a lot of other uh, competitive titles that are meant for spectating, Mario Kart mm -hmm. really is not. It's built only for playing it. And as such, you can't truly be a spectator and watch. The only possibility to do that is if you're joining a match that's already in progress. And in that case, you get the ability to spectate that match. But even then, you don't see the overall progress. You don't see the other racers. You can just bop around from camera view to camera view. Um, so it's it's really not meant for um, anything other than casual couch play, which is a little disappointing because it's such a fun title. And um, it would translate game, yeah. so well. Yeah. 
So I, you know, it's probably the least true competitive title that, that we've done so far, even including Minecraft, honestly, with Spleef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun to fly around and get it to go around and check out everyone's work. Right. I am on the third of three laps here. Um, these games are under five minutes for each one. So they do go pretty quick. There are a couple of other options with the Switch. Um, there's a, an option called LAN Play, so if, which is local area network. It's a term common in gaming to mean a bunch of people that are in the same space gaming together as opposed to over the internet. Um, there is a LAN Play mode, but it's the same thing. You don't get the spectator capability. You don't. You can't run a proper tournament with a, a, an impartial party observing. Goodness. Um, okay, so uh, a new code would be the play. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, Charlie. And Cash, uh, looks like we have Dreamline Cash. Yeah, these matches don't count. Yep, totally agree. Okay, so um, I am going to go ahead and create a new code, a new tournament here. Create a new online They say they're waiting yeah, on you. Yep, yep, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm getting it. Um, there we go. G H C E two is the name. G H C E two will be the name of the tournament. Uh, we're gonna go 150 CC, no teams, normal items, no computers, smart steering, okay. Fixed period today, starting at six. Let's say 6.30. We'll go four races. OK. All right, uh, folks, the code is 2961-7263-9787. And that tournament started four minutes ago, so feel free to jump in there. It's GHCE2. It's got the shy guy as the person. And uh, let's see, do we have anybody in there yet? I'm hopping in now. Thank you, uh, Twitch, for posting the new code. Oh, good, I, I get to pick my proper racer. I need to be a pink shy guy. Uh, so what are yeah. these little avatars? Three. Those are your characters on the um, Switch console. So, like, if you have a Wii you get characters, you have a Switch, you get your own character. So that's each person's character. Okay, nice. Like, Thank you. Switch. Yeah. Okay, this looks a little better. And so when they, there we are, people now. That's good. We see Tony. I think that's Charlie. I can't tell if we have Cash in here. Oh wait, there's four of them and there's me, so that's five. Yeah. Uh, nope. Cash joined. It says on the Twitch, Cash could not join. Huh. And somebody's asking how long oh. do we all play for. Winner so is. I... Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, um, maybe after this, these rounds of, of races go, we can try and get uh, cash back in here. Yeah, absolutely. Was Tony in there? I think he Are might be Sun 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 Sand. Oh, that was rude. Everyone seems to be close. <laughs> Games. Oh, that's nice. Man, oh. I, I don't care if I win anymore. There I just want to check my pocket. <laughs> Are you shy guy, Ralph? I'm shy guy. I'm fourth, yes. Wow, that is so rude. I am just getting slammed. Oh, this is embarrassing. I 
I want to see someone in, in the back come up with like a lightning strike or something because those are always kind of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Race three of three, you I guys. I haven't seen any bananas yet. I have to say, I'm pretty surprised. Oh, uh, but maybe yeah, I, I just can't see the whole course. Yeah. Oh. What is Pocket's character? Anybody know? Yeah, it's a Splatoon uh, Inkling? Squidling? Inkling. Inkling, yeah. So have you played Splatoon? No, I have not. I'm like Marcy. I'm new to all the gaming stuff except for like the stuff I grew up with. <laughs> gotcha. So do we get standings? Do they show? Nobody click through. Let's see if their standings pop up. No, they don't. Oh, okay. people, usually huh? they do um, at the very end of the race. Yes, we do have more people, which is really great to, to okay. see. Fantastic. Hey, everybody, thank you so much. I'm glad you could make it here. Whew. Oh, so the standings oh, didn't pop up towards the end of that race. It showed the first uh, four people, but it went away too fast for me to catch it. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Charlie. Charlie says uh, Splatoon is so much fun. Um, I, I, I've just watched it. I've watched probably four or five hours of Splatoon at this point. Um, and it is pretty cool when you see a team that is working together. So it's these Marcy and Alexa and, and Ray possibly too. Um, you're a, a squid-like character from an alternate universe. And you have ink, like in a various like paint gun. And you have to paint more than 50% of the course, which is like an urban style city. Uh, more more than the other team paints, so it's like a paint war. And uh, you know, it's, it is a highly competitive game. I wow. think there is a spectator mode for Splatoon. So that's interesting. One that I would doing. love to watch that. So too. it's like paintballing, but online. Yeah, and it's about place. Uh, I think it's about, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, spraying terrain and not other people. Although I think you can kill people and take them out, and they respawn. Huh. Like a turf war. It is very much like a turf war. Yeah. And it's got a pretty cute, like, uh, style to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the lore, or however you would call it. Wow, I am profoundly bad at this game. Uh, the There's, like, these <laughs> characters, like TV show hosts... And they've got um, just like really cool, like baggy cargo pants and kind of a, I, you know, to me it's it's kind of a punk rock look. Um, the mm -hmm. characters do, and I, that's gonna go over well with me because I'm a big punk fan. Okay, I'm not last. Uh, that was short. Very I'm last. <laughs> too. Mm -hmm. There's lots of options in different ways you can go, shortcuts and little traps. It's, it's quite, quite interesting to see all the way people go. Mm -hmm. All the little optimizations that can make your path just slightly faster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I think this is a game that might be better suited um, as well for uh, more community game nights when we are back on campus and we have the arena set up because we're going to have both yes. of those switches there and we would be able to be sitting side by side playing on, you know, a couple of screens linked up that way. Um, I yeah. just, I'm really looking mm -hmm. forward to getting that set up. I, you know, I'm not complaining. You know, I love the ability oh, to still play games with people. Is Ralph, is there going to be space um, for folks to come just hang out and watch other people play games in the arena? Oh, good golly, yes. Yay! Heck yes, there is. So we have some spectator seating. We've actually got um, two 65-inch so black excited. panels that are wall-mounted for the, for, the for the Smash and Mario Kart and, and you know gaming stations. And then we also have the mm -hmm. projector screen against the wall. 
which um, has the spectator seating in front of it. So, there, and there's a couple of couches in the back, which is sort of the, um, you know, like parents or family area. So the idea nice. is if we're doing a recruiting night and we invite some some students up, you know, hey, come play games with us on Tuesday night. Let's uh, let's do some League of Legends or let's do some Overwatch. And they bring their parents or they bring a sibling or a friend or whatever who isn't isn't playing, they have a chance to sit down, um, you know, sit on the couches, relax, a little bit away from the direct spectating. Um, nice. So yeah, it's, oh gosh, I'm so excited to get that set up. I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm excited we were just to talking today actually about LED lights that are gonna be around the ceiling. Um, cool. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Yeah. Side note, I'm loving Coach Morrow's So they're suggesting that we do a... Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, on Twitch, they're asking if we're going to do a Splatoon night for one of our Thursday night games. I, th I think we should try it. You know, that's actually it. a really good idea. Yeah. Okay, cute gloves are off. I'm taking first. All right. One thing about holding the red shells behind you, you can um, shoot them at people behind you instead of shooting them in the front. Um, but also, if things come up, like uh, someone turns into the rocket bullet, um, and you and instead of them hitting you, you can shoot the bullet and it'll avoid you. Okay, so how do you move the shell behind you? Oh... In, like when you need to um, release it out of your hand, just hold it down. Gotcha. And then um, when you release it, I think if you hit the, yeah. And then when you release it, I believe it's um, one of the back arrow, like the joystick backwards or something like that. When you release it. Okay, I have a red shell. I'm in second place. Oh, I can't man, remember. I haven't tired. played the the switch. Um, <laughs> Take that. Whoa, pocket almost went off the rail. Hit a banana. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, and oh, there we go. Pocket's about to come back with the star. <sighs> I was in third. What I love about having the star towards the end, you can cut through fields and not have it slow down. This is one of those uh, races that I was saying that have different ways you go, different shortcuts, and it's just it can, you don't know which obstacle you want. I'm sure too. Yeah, looking it's at for... that map, oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, just for folks that have been playing a while, probably are learning a lot more of the shortcuts. Okay, so there's the scoreboard. Cash, Charlie, Sun, Pocket, and GHC. Yeah, that's that's no. That GHC, was the end of that right? um, race. It pops up just at the end of the race. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely so done. Each race it'll uh, tell you who wins from your list. Yeah, that was that was a good one, guys. Um, I'm just kind of curious, folks that are on Twitch right now, if anyone has tried to go on. Dang cash to the beast. I think I I froze for a second. Um, no, nope, we, we heard you. It's just a little bit. Yeah, what did you say? Sorry, I keep talking okay. over you. I apologize. That's all right. Um, if anyone on Twitch uh, can... <laughs> Pop over to the Facebook stream. Um, 
I'm on there and it's I don't see that it's working. I'm wondering if it's working for other people. You know, um, you might click on GHC um, Esports and see if the stream it is, it started is. with a different link because we've been having some of these uh, connection issues. It did issues. start with a different link. I'm on it right now. Yeah, it's um, on a second link, but it, it is just as current as the feed I'm seeing, so. I think it's awesome that we all picked the Excite Bike Arena. Yes. I... This is one of my favorite arenas. Another thing in this game that I love um, that you can do is if you bump another player, you can steal some of their speed. Um, nice. Especially if they have mushrooms around them, with them, you can get a speed boost from them. Ooh, I so like that's this my style. Ring. Ray. Carly says yeah. on Twitch that the plant um, is your hair. <laughs> the plant looks oh, like no. it's your hair. <laughs> Did you? You got some great plants. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind yeah. of funny. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. So, Ray, speaking of, of the club, um, you all have something that you're planning on doing um, for Pride this year? There's like a yes, virtual Pride, do. did I see that correctly? So what is the, what's the story with that? That sounds yeah, super awesome. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, we think it's going to be really cool. Yeah, so we're doing a project for Pride Month this year, and um, we're asking the community to just share with us like a short little video, just like a minute or less, um, on how you personally are celebrating Pride this year. Because um, we know that Pride is going to be really tough for a lot of people, um, for obvious yeah. reasons. Um, and we just want to get the message out that you are not alone. You are loved and supported. And you can make Pride um, just truly amazing this year, wherever you are, whatever the circumstances. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to uh, share how you are celebrating Pride this year, um, you can just DM your video to any of the admins on the Facebook page. And um, we'll be posting these videos on that page um, as they're shared with us throughout the month of June. Cool. That is awesome. So can anyone submit a video? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, you just uh, make a short little video um, and DM it to uh, one of us, one of the admins. And yeah, absolutely. Great. So who all are the ad for Facebook page? Yeah, so you've got, um, so there's me, uh, Carly, and Jax, I believe. Uh, they're really good people to DM it to. Um, I believe uh, Quincy is also an admin on that page. Um, and yeah, so I, I, I believe, I'm not quite sure, but I believe you can see it on the Facebook group page um, if you click there. And any of those people are uh, perfectly fine to DM it to. Perfect. Thank you. Great. So I see that uh, we have less people on this t time around. Um, Charlie Cash, do we want to uh, start a new tournament? Because um, it says it's no longer tracking the standings on this one. And, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that because I've been fifth every time. Uh, so I'm okay if we don't track standings, but I can understand that some people might want to. <laughs> Ooh, I love these paper lanterns. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Cash says internet went out for him. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, that was another thing I found when researching how to set up a tournament for Mario Kart is... Um, 
the online modes, there's a pretty common situation where people run into like a connection error, connection timed out. Um, so it does mm -hmm. seem very specifically suited for casual play and not so much for the sort of, you know, ultra serious competition that I tend to get myself involved in. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, well, after this race, let's uh, let's set up a new tournament with a new code. I mean, oh. uh, we can take a couple minute break, um, set up a second second four race tournament, and um, and then I'll I'll win. I got to keep the positive attitude. I'll win the next one. Yes. <laughs> Have we had someone that's consistently coming in at the top of the rankings? You know, it's hard for me to tell <laughs> because I'm always laughing. <laughs> I think the, um, the scoreboard... I've been noticing that Charlie was uh, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kat, Coach Charlie yeah, and Cash are building for top position. Okay, let's. Oh, we got everybody in now. Great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's let's fire it up. Let's do some more. Uh, since we got everybody in, we don't need to to take a break and set up a new lobby. Uh, let's let's roll on through. Oh, there we go. More five. That's amazing that most people are picking the same course. Hmm. Including me, and I'm picking that's, it based that's on That's cool. Nice. <laughs> there is, in fact, a Switch shortage. Yeah, that's true. Not just Switch, but also like game controllers and game accessories. Um, I went looking for a new controller in a couple of different stores, and they're sold out. I was at uh, Best Buy in Olympia. Um, no, sorry, it was Target in Olympia. Um, and I, I did try the Walmart here looking for controllers, and it's crazy. Like the the coronavirus pandemic has definitely cleaned out a lot of those entertainment items. Which makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Yeah, hot commodity right now. Yes. I was actually at Walmart talking to a couple of the people in the... Yeah. Um, so the guys up in the the area with electronics at Walmart were saying once they get their stock in of these switches, they're gone within the day that they receive them. Um, wow. Because we went looking at them and they had in stock. So it's been it's been really crazy. Yeah, and that actually goes with not just you know buying gaming stuff, but gaming in general. So there are a number of uh, collegiate Discord communities that I'm a part of, right? Which makes sense. I'm the you know, manager of the esports program at Grace Harbor College, so of course I'm going to want to see what other colleges are up to. Their esports programs and their gaming mm -hmm. programs are just incredibly busy. They're super active. Um, it is. You know, of course, the the COVID-19, the coronavirus situation, has introduced a ton of hardships to a lot of people. But gaming is not one of them. Gaming is, is an environment that is really built for online, for connecting people, and for connecting people at, at whatever time is most convenient. I mean, gaming is, is so easy to get connected, to find a community of people that, that you work well with and really just get, oh, I just saw somebody go flying off the edge. Fourth, sweet. I'm so happy. Well, yes. Very to finish nice. my thought. Sorry, I got, yes. I got overtaken Good by job. actually not being listed. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! So we're uh, getting a request on Twitch if we could stay longer. And uh, so when their class is done, people can join. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Stay on longer than, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we might oh, do like... a um, a short break uh, after a couple more Good matches. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to suggest that. Uh, we might take a short break uh, in, a, in a couple of matches. Um, so people are getting out of class right at the top of the hour. Um, Did I hear that right? Yes, I think so. Um, Jack had asked if we could stay playing because they get out of class soon. OK. And they want to join. Yeah, that sounds great. OK. Oh, look at this one. The animals playing instruments and cheering the team on. Do we get all five in again? No, we got four. I think we lost Cash. Okay. Cash, was it a network connection issue again? Did you your Wi-Fi timeout? So I do want to say we picked up a couple of new subscriptions today, um, subs for the channel which is amazing. The subs are a way that people can directly contribute to the esports program here um, because Amazon, which owns Twitch, uh, pays channels uh, $2.50 a month for each subscription. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can spend one of those subscriptions absolutely free every month. And so, um, so we're up to three now, which, you know, I mean, it's $7.50, right? But that money directly goes towards funding the, this club in, in ways that can go directly to students. Uh, they can go for uh, registrations and prize pools. Um, there are less strings attached because those are considered fundraising dollars. And as a state institution, we have to watch our dollars pretty carefully. So the, the punchline for what I'm saying is if you have an Amazon Prime account and, um, and you, you are not using your free Twitch subscription anywhere else, I would love it if you would use it here uh, for us. It would really help out what we're trying to do. You know, that $2.50 every month um, could go a long way. Uh, we, we definitely make every dollar count, so. Absolutely. Um, oh my gosh, I sound like a pledge drive, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so on that note, um, is there a way that people can donate instead of, um, if they don't want to do it that way, is there a, way they can donate to the esports team? There might be. I have no idea how that operates. Um, that's a really good question and one that I'll bring <laughs> up, but not one I can answer right now. Wait, were there five people? No. Oh, man, I was really hoping I was fourth out of five. No, nope. so Charlie oh. Pocket, Sun, and GHC. You were so close. You got, yeah. you got this, though. The more you play, Thanks. the better you'll get. I mean, like they say, practice is perfect, right? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Okay, well, uh, you know, we are waiting for a few other people. Um, folks that are still in the lobby can ready up for another match. I am going to take the Twitch stream to an intermission, um, and and we will be back. I hope you stick with us. I, I know I have had a um, a lot of fun, specifically since our um, our connection issues seem to have have fixed themselves, which is fantastic because mm -hmm. I hate getting disconnected. Um, but I am going to take us to a quick break. Uh, we will be right back after this. Please don't go anywhere. We have more Mario Kart stuff coming up. Um, and, uh, and we'll see you just in a short bit right after the break. Thanks, everybody.
Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. Welcome back to Thursday Night Gaming. I am Ralph Hogaboom. With me tonight is, uh, well, I'll just let you introduce yourselves. Uh, this might be a collision. No, I, that's it. I'll introduce you. I have Marcy. How you doing, Marcy? <laughs> I'm not hearing audio from you. Are you muted? Uh, we have Alexa. Alexa is human service student here at GHC. How are you, Alexa? Could you say something? I just want to make good. sure. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank goodness. Um, and oh, can we you hear have me? Ray Arden. Yep. Okay. Yep. We can hear you. Hello. So Ray is uh, is new to Thursday Night Gaming. Um, they're the president of the GSA Student Club, and I um, I need to make sure I'm not missing out on, on the next match. Uh, and so uh, you know, this must have like coronavirus must have thrown quite a wrench in your plans for your club. So what all are you, yep, I'm missing, uh, oh man, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting distracted by the game. So, so what is the GSA doing um, to, to adjust and address uh, the huge changes? Well, we are really right now um, focusing on really trying to be more visible and um, trying to make sure that um, we are, we're really staying available and we're really staying um, as, a, as a supportive and welcoming space for people because we know this can be uh, a really tough time, especially for people who maybe have to stay in not so accepting households during this pandemic. Um, and so we're, we're trying to have a, a big presence online. Part of that um, project that we're doing for Pride Month uh, it would be really awesome if y'all wanted to um, submit your videos um, just to show us what you're doing for Pride Month. Um, and yeah, hopefully we will be having um, open GSA meeting soon. Right now, um, things are still, we're trying to figure out how everything's working still. Um, but yeah, absolutely, like, check our, our, our GSA Facebook group page for any updates, because um, we are posting a lot there. Um, so make sure to check it out. If you uh, press the join button, um, you'll probably get invited in in about two seconds. So, uh, yes. Awesome. So you're doing, uh, um, you, the GSA group, the like the officers and the current members are continuing to meet like via Zoom, right? Yes, we are. Yep. Okay. So what? I gotta know what virtual backgrounds have people been using. Like, what's the best Zoom <laughs> virtual background that you've seen yet? I think the best one, in my opinion, <laughs> that I've seen is um, our advisor Lindsay has one of the um, the office background, you know, from the TV show The Office, um, yeah. where Jim's sitting like in the office, you know, with the blinds behind there. I think that's the best right. one that I've seen so far. Um, there are a couple of Harry Potter ones that I'm a big fan of. Unfortunately, I can't do backgrounds because my computer is not advanced enough, and I don't have a green screen. But right. I'm I'm living vicariously through other people's green screens. So yeah. gotcha. I am um, so, so on uh, that note on that Harry Potter note I have to say, I was gonna say on that um, Harry Potter note I have to say um, working in student life has been really fun our zoom meetings um, are quite interesting my boss Richard shout out to Richard uh, he mm -hmm. decided to show us his green uh, screen cape he wrapped himself up in a blanket and his body just appeared like in Harry Potter and all we could see was his head and the background like we're like oh my That's gosh he got cool. an invisibility cloak it was so great it was awesome yeah so what were That's you going to say uh, I was going to say that um, I did know a, so a friend of mine from South Puget Sound actually um, he turned on his camera, his, just his regular webcam for recording, um, and recorded his office, and then he came in from off camera and peered at the screen and then went away. And so he set that as his background. So you see him sitting in his office chair, and it looks normal. Wow. And then there's another him that comes in and looks over his shoulder all confused and then goes away again, and it's, it loops. So um, at first, you know, we we're in the middle of a meeting and he's talking. And, and I did, I thought, I was like, oh, he, he must have a twin brother who's staying and who's confused. But his twin brother keeps poking in and I'm like, what's going on? And um, I, you know, I just, I thought it was pretty hilarious. It's a good background. Can you guys hear me now? All right, so I'm thinking. Yeah, we can hear you, did we lose you? Yes, welcome back. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Well, 
I wanted to ask, um, so if a current or prospective student wanted to get involved in the GSA or Student Life, how could they find you guys and contact you to get involved? Yeah, well, the main thing is going to be our uh, GSA Facebook group page. I think there's a link somewhere in the chat. Um, that's going to be the best way currently. Um, when we return to campus, uh, hopefully we will soon, um, you can find us in the hub in the Diversity and Equity Center. Um, when we get uh, regular Zoom meetings open to the public, um, we're going to be meeting Wednesdays at 1. So um, once we get that up and running, um, you can pop in any meeting. Anyone's welcome. Yeah, currently the GSA Facebook group page is going to be the best way. Right. Um, and for Student Life, uh, we also have a Facebook page and we've been posting events pretty regularly. Um, we have like every day of the week there's something pretty much going on. Um, but if they you want to contact us, you can either follow us on Twitter. Um, I, no, we don't have, do we have Twitter? I don't think we have Twitter. I meant to say Instagram, sorry. Um, we do have our Instagram um, up and running now and you can find us on Facebook. But also, like Ray was saying, once it's easier to come into the office and say hi and uh, get what you need from student life once campus opens back up. Um, but you now, Facebook is one of the biggest ways that we're trying to stay in contact with people. So, great. Thanks for that. And it looks like, yeah, somebody posted GSA's Facebook in the chat. That's great. That's one of our moderators. Thank you, Mods. Y'all are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, for anybody who is watching, um, oh, nice. Uh, for anybody who is watching, uh, you know, we are launching a varsity program in the fall. We are going to do four titles. Um, we have one of those titles is a Switch title, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, if you want to get involved, you know, please let us know. The social media you can follow, um, our Twitch page you can follow, of course, uh, that's the race. Now, folks who have been waiting in the lobby to get in, now's the time to join. The lobby code is 2961-7263-9787. Maybe one of our mods can post that in there. Um, but if you go to ghc.edu slash discord and join our discord community, or if you go to ghc.edu slash esports, you'll find an option to get connected. We have a, a recruiting form. So if you think, hey, I want to play for one of those teams, I play Overwatch or League of Legends or Rocket League or Smash, um, we want to see you. Uh, did I miss the window? Come on, come on, come on. I can get in. Join, join, join. Am I in? Did I make it? I did not. Oh. oh man, I'm with Cash again. <laughs> Darn you it. make that sound so upsetting. <laughs> so, well, then I can finish my thought. So ghc.edu slash esports. Uh, we do have under get in touch. We have the um, the recruitment form, and you know, let us know. Uh, another game that we've been talking to people about is Valorant. Um, anybody in in chat playing Valorant or watching Valorant streams? Um, I I am pretty interested, and it's not just me. There's a number of colleges that are quickly saying, "Can we put together a Valorant team?" Um, NJCAAE is is putting together some stuff. Uh, I know players in Collegiate Star League, um, NACE are playing Valorant, so there's a really good likelihood that that is going to be a Collegiate title coming up. Um, so, hey, Valorant players, like, we want to know who you are. Get in touch. Uh, we may have a team for you. So, Ralph, um, the Twitch feed, people are saying that they use the same code and we're all sent to a different lobby. Uh. So... I don't know if there's another lobby that's opened or what's going on, but. Okay. Um, I'll make a new one that we can join after this match, uh, which I think okay. will wind up being our final. This will be our, our final. Yeah, the tourney codes are just weird. You're, you're right. Um, this will wind up being our final one for the night. And you know what? I think I want to make it 200 CC. Chat, you're not going to be able to know. talk me down from this. 
So what is two hundred cc? That's how fast the the bikes go. The higher the number, the faster they go. So my daring match. You broke up again there, Alexa. What was that? Oh, zoom? they're agreeing. 200. They're agreeing on Twitch. Let's do 200. Excellent. 200 CC. Nice. Yeah, so Marcy, um, I believe it starts at 50 CCs and then goes up by 50 intervals. And like uh, Ralph was saying, that's just how fast the, the speed of the bikes and stuff go. So the faster, the harder it is to control. Yeah. What have we All been right. playing at? Do you know, Ralph? Uh, either 100 or 150. OK, I have a new okay. code for folks. So go ahead and back out, leave the group that you're at, go back down to tournaments, and do search by code. And the code is 16560395626267. Now is the time. It's GHCE3. Join that tournament. We should get a pile of people in the lobby. Five, maybe more. One, six, five, six, zero, three, nine, five, six, two, six, seven. I should stop talking. I should get in there. I made it. Yes. Anybody else coming in? Ha. Success. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We're getting teamed. OK, I'm going to try the announcer thing. Uh, we got five racers, four races, a multitude <laughs> of worlds. This is my Kart. <laughs> yes. Oh, keep going. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. That was good. It was good. Thank you. Thank you. I will probably be like doing that all night now. I'll be like, salt and pepper are on the table. <laughs> Would you please pass the ketchup? First race is on. Three, two, one. I feel like it'd be a great oh, voice to that. do commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh man, so rude. Oh, oh yeah, they're cruising. Yeah, I can't handle yeah, the speed. It's gonna be a close. Oh, <laughs> oh it's Animal Crossing. How cute. That seems to be another big game that everyone's getting into is Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. Animal Crossing is pretty amazing. So have you, I mean, have you- I like how sarcastic it is. <laughs> you mean like the other villagers when they talk to you? Yeah. Or the noises they make. It's like, and I'm, right. I laugh at it every time. I think Animal Crossing is great because it's a, uh, it's yet I mean, another. Personally, I don't have the game. Right. It's a it's a totally non-violent world, and um, you know it's it's about like community and and people working together, but then it's also about like interior decorating mm -hmm. and paying off your debts. So <laughs> I, I think it's a fascinating game. A game and it's a game. Have What's you that? have you yet to play? Um, video game inside your game in Animal no, Crossing they have, they have a, a, a area where you can actually play the switch inside the switch <laughs> nice. oh my gosh it sounds like it sounds like a so way Sun, to... Charlie, Cash, Pocket and G mm -hmm. yeah, sorry Marcy so what were you going to say people that want to join oh, the, gonna... the code is 
once actually I'll, st I'll stop talking over you twitch moderators somebody in twitch wants to join can you paste the code in there for them animal crossing sounds like uh a, a game about adulting <laughs> <That was sad. laughs> yeah kind of <laughs> kind of i've been watching people post um stuff on facebook with the animal crossing little snippets and videos and shaking trees and having bees come out of the tree and you got to catch like this and farm and like mm -hmm. i don't know it's, it's kind of interesting to watch yeah there are a bunch of really amazing moments so i remember the first time i saw a tarantula one of my kids was playing animal crossing and we have a, a setup at home where we have a like a home theater so um it's it's like the when somebody's playing it's it's just gorgeous to watch but then this tarantula comes out of nowhere and it rears back and then it starts chasing my teen and I, no. I was like, for a, for a non-violent game where you can't die, I was terrified. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Sun and Charlie always out in top. Yeah, they're pretty solid at this. Yeah, my body's not built for 200cc. <laughs> yeah. I'm noticing a lot of people going off the, off the sides. Yeah. It's hardcore mode. So this is race two of four uh, for our final races for tonight. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Um, oh no, thank you everybody for coming stuck. out. Uh oh. Thanks to everybody for coming out and, right. and gaming with us again tonight. Um, it's always fun to see people turn out and to, to game with you all, so thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone caught it in the Twitch earlier, but someone shouted out to K boom to see if they were gonna come in and uh, <laughs> clean up one of the games in the next couple weeks. Oh yeah. K boom, of course, uh, is the is the top of our leaderboard for Quiplash uh, for this first spring quarter. Yeah, uh, here it eight. is. Can you wipe the floor in Splatoon like you did in Quiplash? Right. Oh, ooh. we're gonna have yeah, to get the Splatoon going. Lead. <laughs> so I think there was one of the players, uh, my favorite my favorite one from Splatoon was um, a product by Matthew McConaughey, and it was Be Mad, I think, that said, oh. uh, all right, all right, Nightlight. And I, yes, <laughs> and, I'm still laughing about it. Yeah, same. I was like, man, that was perfect. Oh, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. So, but next week is not Quiplash. Uh, next week is actually League of Legends. Uh, League of Legends 1v1. Nice. If you have not had a chance to sign up for it yet, now is your chance. Uh, please do. Um, we, I am, I am looking forward to seeing some League of Legends. I will not be playing because I'm trash at League, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing other people <laughs> play. Um, can we get the link for the registration? You can also go to ghc.edu. Yeah, 200 CC is is rough. Um, ghc.edu slash esports go to events and you'll see the, the link for the League of Legends uh, event next week and then also the sign up form we have two other events after that that's rounding out our quarter so it's League of Legends next week Rocket League 2v2s after that and then we're going to cap it all off with another Smash Ultimate competition double elimination um, nice. I'm looking forward to it that'll be amazing mm-hmm the Rocket League one in particular. Oh, we got six um, people. Oh, nice. Uh, the Rocket League one, we have a, a couple of new guest casters. Mercurial is from uh, NEU uh, University over on the East Coast. He actually won the Collegiate Rocket League Championship season one. Um, and then Lisa, um, she's one of the analysts for Boise State University. Who's, uh, she's a caster as well. And I'm, I think that's just going to be dynamite. Awesome. Okay, but, Shush, Ralph. Got to focus. Got to win this one. Two, one. So this is the 
this is game three of four for our last it is round. The penultimate nice. match. Uh, look at the piano. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. So that last race, even though Pocket got stuck a few times, they still in like second place. That's that's what's crazy about some of these games. You can be in last place and end up in first by the end of the race. Mm -hmm. So you may remember Pocket, um, he was on the Pip Fans team in Overwatch that ended up uh, taking first place, beating yes. out uh, Coach Morrow's team, uh, Jetpack Cats, in the uh, Yes, in the I do re recall that. Yeah. Round two of three. Wow. This See, is this is that rocket that I was talking about, that rocket bullet. It is astounding how bad I am. In fact, <laughs> I am gonna I'm gonna delete this channel. We're canceling the esports program. I, I oh, uh, no. we can't do this Come anymore. On. <laughs> I'm throwing in the towel. That sounds like a rage quit to me, Ralph. No, oh, it's totally. I rage know. Quit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, smashed. Sweet relief. Wow. Goro, Sun, Charlie, Pocket Cash, and GHC. It was, was an interesting match right there. Person? Yes. Who? I believe so. Goro, Goro? Sun? Yeah. I believe so. I just got a quick glimpse of the name. But and it now, looked out familiar. Your so final welcome. match. For tonight's Thursday Night Gaming, Mario Kart 8. Who will emerge victorious? Only one can be first. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two. Hey, Leiko, getting hyped in Twitch chat. Yes. Seven people this time. Yes. Nice. Jax is oh, look, in. Jax joined. Boom. Yes. Awesome. Get around in. I'm happy that you weren't trying to play games during class. That's good. That shows commitment. <laughs> yes. I didn't really think about that until they said that. I'm like, I guess that's one thing about doing <laughs> classes online and at home is like you could be trying to um, be playing esports and being in class at the same time. Uh, not recommended. Please focus yeah, on your studies when you're in class. Well, and when you're playing that's a competitive a game, time. focus on your game. I guess that's true, yeah. yes. <laughs> Now this is an area that when you're using your glider, if you push up, you can use that glider longer and not hit the water as fast. Seems like everyone's pretty close to each other in this race. Do you guys know what it means like when I see the course 
and everyone on it, when someone turns, it looks like they're in, they turn into like a little black bomb or something. That was um, me. Uh, it's a power up item that you get. Yeah, Alexa, can you explain it? Um, so does it look like a bomb or does it look like a more like a bullet shell? Because the bullet shell ones are, are the rocket one that you can kind of it, drive through and it, anything you hit, you go right through. Bomb, um, um, anything that around you, um, if it hits you, it like blows up. And then when you turn into a rainbow, that means you had a star and you can, that, that gets you through anything really, so. That was great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I uh, I didn't do so well, but uh, I thank you everybody that that uh, played along. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Charlie, for stopping by. Um, Leiko, uh, Carly is out there. Uh, Kazama, you were Goro. Uh, we just raced against you. Thank you for for swinging in and participating. Um, everybody, th this was a lot of fun. 200 CC is rough. Uh, you yeah. have to like. I recklessly charged into that, and I apologize to myself and everybody else. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we do this every Thursday night. Uh, you know, Marcy and I, and then a, a rotating cast of guests who who come along with us. Um, and it's it's awesome that you can come and hang out with us on these Thursday nights. Um, I wish we could be doing this on campus. I wish we could be doing this in the arena that we have. Um, so it means a lot to me that you're making time to do this and hang out with us virtually and, and keep us connected until we do get to play together again. Um, side by side, couch, co-op gaming, um, cooperative, you know, competitive gaming, that whole thing. Um, I, I do want to throw out another pitch for the, for the games that we've got coming up. But before we do, I, I want to turn the floor over to, to Ray to say, um, you know, talk about GSA again uh, and some of the stuff that you have coming up before we go. All right, yeah. So uh, yeah, we have some things coming up. We always update what we're gonna do on our GSA group Facebook page. So once again, um, go check that out. Definitely join any are welcome. And um, right now we have a project coming up uh, for Pride Month where um, we're asking the community to send us like short little videos, just like less than a minute um, to tell us and share with us how you're celebrating Pride Month this year. Cause we know it's pretty tough um, for a lot of people in the community with the pandemic going on and all that. Um, so yes, we'd really like to just invite the community, anyone watching, if you'd like to um, make a short little video, you can um, DM it to any of the admins in the GSA group Facebook page, um, and we'll be posting those videos um, throughout the month of June. So if you, if you are interested in doing that, we would love to have your videos. It'd be awesome. That's yeah, great. and thank you for doing that. Thanks for, for continuing to be a resource in the community for, for folks, even though so much stuff is shut down, to say it doesn't matter, we are still here. That's incredibly important. Thank you for doing that. Thank um, you. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, you know, I think that about does it for us for tonight. Um, thank you again so much for joining us, Marcy. Um, it was a lot of fun hanging out with you. Of course, you too, Alexa and Ray. Thanks. I'm so glad that you could stop by tonight. Um, everybody, I think that does it for us tonight. Uh, so we'll see you next week. We do have League of Legends coming up. Um, the registration forms and signups are still available. Uh, you know, please come out, hang out with us. We want to we want to see your chops at, at League and then Rocket League and Smash. ghc.edu slash esports or to join our Discord community, ghc.edu slash Discord. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out and we'll see you next time at JHC Esports. Have a good night. <laughs>